just a few days after I was first elected to the Scottish Parliament, I got a phone call from a constituent in Glasgow. She didn't really want anything, she just wanted to share with me the fact that it was the first time she'd voted for someone who actually got elected. She wanted to share how hopeful that made her about the political process. Actually, it gave me a lot of hope about our ability to connect with voters who'd been disillusioned and disenfranchised from politics for a long time. I hope that green voters in Wales will get that feeling in May. You've got the ability to make that happen over the coming months. You'll be able to point out the track record of elected Greens in every other part of these islands. The track record of getting more done than you would expect with our small numbers. Just a small group of Green MSPs in the Scottish Parliament behind me have managed to achieve a real transformational change on energy and fuel poverty, on public transport and on the economy in communities right up and down Scotland. You'll be able to do that too. You'll be able to show Welsh Green voters that a green vote can really make a difference, can bring new ideas onto the political stage, challenging the idea of an economy that grows everlasting only in the interests of the tiny minority of wealthiest people in society, challenging the disconnect between the other party's rhetoric on climate change and their actual policies on energy, above all showing that a better new economy is possible, one that works in the interests of the common good rather than only of the few. Best of luck with your campaign, and I look forward to celebrating with a bigger group of Green MSPs congratulating your first members of the Welsh Assembly too.